News that's just coming in. It's a big win for our forces. The Indian Army has avenged the Rajori terror attack by gunning down two terrorists. The encounter took place near the Balakot border fence. The area has been cordoned off and search operations are in progress at the moment. Those visuals on your screens are from Jammu and Kashmir where two terrorists have been neutralized. The army said operations will continue and they will nab terrorists who were involved in the Dhangri attack in Rajori district. Seven people were killed in Rajori terror attack which took place on the 2nd of January. Terror group TRF has released a fresh list of Kashmiri Pandit government employees and they have threatened to assassinate Kashmiri Pandits who have been working for the government. My colleague Ashraf Ani is now joining me on the story. Ashraf, this is a big win for the forces. Two terrorists have been neutralized. However, there is a list which has been released of Kashmiri Pandit people who have been working for the government. This is a little scary at the moment. Absolutely, Ashwarya. Basically, this uh, operation in which these two terrorists had been killed was started yesterday late evening when there was some suspicious movement observed near the line of control uh, in Balakut sector of Mender in Punch district. In fact, two terrorists so far killed and uh, army now saying that it was an infiltration bid which has been filed by the alert army jawans on the line of control. In fact, uh, uh, there is some kind of a relief for the security agencies as they were uh, able to neutralize two terrorists after the uh, Rajori uh, incident in which seven people lost their lives and that group which was involved in that massacre is believed had infiltrated from the same area and is still roaming in the uh, dense forests near line of control and the army has uh, launched a massive coordinate search operation in those particular areas after that incident. Now in fact what you said about the uh, another fresh list uh, uh, released by the terror organization TRF here in the Kashmir Valley about the migrant employees who are working in the Jammu and Kashmir. It is not the first list so far. They have released so many lists where the houses were uh, constructed for the migrant employees in the Kashmir Valley. They have also right. uh, that. But the big question is that who is giving these kind of clues and government information to the terror groups? Uh, they are able to release these kind of uh, uh, very uh, notified information in the public domain. I don't read the news. I read between the lines to tell you the true version of events, the true story of our times. To document grief, the toughest assignment for any journalist to be. From those who matter. Women politicians going to stick up for each other. Of those who should matter, I document the truth. I don't distort the truth. I don't glamorize the truth. I don't gloss over the truth. The ghosts of India's contentious medieval history have come knocking again. I hustle for the truth, on the ground, in the newsroom, in the I studio. Don't I don't try to grab eyeballs. I inform you to make you see the point. To the point with Preeti Chaudhary, at these times, only on India Today.